everyone has a different way of managing projects. Some people like to use their inbox to keep track of tasks, while others prefer to visualize work on a Kanban board or in a calendar view. When you combine all these disparate workflows, you can find yourself duplicating work, missing deadlines and even losing revenue. But the good news is, free project management software can give you the flexibility you need to manage tasks, communicate with stakeholders and maintain project visibility without paying a cent. Lately, there has been an insurgence of many project management tools like Asana, Monday.com, ClickUp, Basecamp, and even Trello. So today, as a part of my project management series, we are going to talk about Trello. Whether you are working solo with a small group or on a scrum team, Trello today is being used by millions. Let's get straight into this. As a quick introduction, Trello is a simple way to organize your projects with Kanban boards. And with a free plan that allows for unlimited boards and users, it's a tool that anyone can use. Freelancers can use Trello to plan their assignments on a personal board. And teams can use Trello to build a complete project workflow with visibility at each and every stage. You can start by creating a new board from scratch or choosing a template from dozens of options across marketing, sales, design, team management, and many more areas. Add a handful of lists for your tasks. Each list is a column and customize those lists with the steps in your workflow. For instance, to do, doing, and done, or as separate parts of your project. You can see this board is made up of lists that represents a workflow. Each list has cards on it. The card is a unit that represents a task and can hold a variety of information for that task. I can create a new task for this board by adding a card and adding a title to it. Click the card to open up the card where you can add more information to it. All aspects of the card can be edited on the card itself. For instance, I can change the title of my card to make it a little bit more informative. I will also add a description to the card to provide more details on what this card is all about. Since this task has a few layers to it, I'll add a checklist to the card to create subtasks or steps. These are each represented as checklist items. I will then add a few members of my team to this card to assign them the task. Since Ben and Julie are fluent in these languages, I'll add them. When board members are added to a card, they will receive a notification both within Trello and by email since we are on a deadline for this feature. Now I'm going to add a due date to the card so that everyone knows this needs to get done before the beta version ships. Adding labels to your cards is a great way to add visual information for quick reference. Plus, you can filter your board by labels, which I will demonstrate later in the video. Commenting on cards is a convenient way to keep the conversation about a task centrally located. And mention a board member in a comment and they will receive a notification also. Since I want to stay on top of the progress of this card, I'm going to subscribe to it. So this way, I will receive notifications for any actions that occur on the card. Oh, it looks like I forgot to add an important language for our localization feature. Let's better add to that card. As a task progresses from start to finish, Cards can be moved across lists by clicking and dragging them to a different list. Of course, not all lists have to be a part of a workflow. Lists can act as repositories for ideas, documents, and resources. Now we are going to take a look at the board sidebar. The member section of the sidebar displays all of the board members. The members with the blue icon on their avatar are board admins and they can set permissions for the board. I can add new members to my board 
by clicking the add members button and then searching for them by either their username or email addresses. If I want to add someone to a board that is not a member of Trello, I can enter their email addresses and an invitation to sign up and collaborate on the board will be sent by email. Also to make things easier, if your board is part of an organization, organization members will be suggested as potential board members. It's really easy to add members to cards by dragging their avatar from the member section and dropping it onto a card. Next, the activity feed for the board shows all of the actions that have occurred on the board since the board was created. And finally, the board's menu is where you can find all of the board level settings and features. Board admins can set permissions for the board in additional settings. Most of these features are self-explanatory, but I want to quickly go over some of the more interesting and useful ones. Power-ups are board level features that you can enable to provide extra functionality on your board, such as calendar view and card voting. Stickers are a fun way to add visual information to a card, whether it is a status update or just to add a little humor. As mentioned earlier, card filters allow you to focus on cards on a board by combination of their labels, members, due dates, or keywords. So instead of deleting cards and lists, they are archived so that they can easily be referenced or returned to your board at any point in the future. Don't worry about filling up your archive. It's practically limitless. It's also possible to create new cards by email. Each board member has a unique email address associated with the board that will let them create new cards on that board. So this sums up our Trello overview. Trello is free and the best way to get to know Trello is to try it out for yourself. Sign up at trello.com and if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you found this tutorial useful. Please let me know if you want me to record a video on any of your favorite project management app. Thanks for your time and see you next Thursday.